We get this question at least once a week. How do I remove a vehicle off of my insurance policy? Or how do I cancel my New York auto insurance when I move out of state? The answer is the same, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Hey guys, it's Mike Crowley, the owner at the Crowley Insurance Agency, where we make insurance easy with honesty and common sense. Removing a vehicle off of your auto insurance policy is extremely easy. All you need to do is turn in your New York license plates to the DMV, get a copy of the FS6 plate surrender form, and submit it to your insurance agent or your insurance company asking them to remove the vehicle. You cannot remove a vehicle prior to this happening or you will be fined from the DMV starting at $8 a day per set of license plates. The same goes when you move out of state. When you move out of state and get new insurance in the new state you're living in, if you still have the New York plates on your vehicle, you could potentially be causing fines or future suspensions of licenses if that happens. Let me tell you the way that it should happen or the way that you should proceed with it. When you're getting ready to move out of state or when you do move out of state, make sure you are completely ready to switch everything over. This means get new plates for the vehicles, get new driver's licenses, and then get the new insurance. Too many times people get frustrated because they buy the new insurance before they're ready to switch the other things, and then they're kind of held carrying two insurance policies for a short time frame. If you cancel your New York auto insurance before sending these plates back in, there's two problems that can potentially happen. One, you can rack up those fines that I've already mentioned, you know, $8 a day per set of plates that the DMV can have. If you do nothing with those fines or you don't fix the issue right away, they can then suspend your New York license. Now you may be thinking, I'm getting rid of my New York license, so I don't care. The problem is, over time, the longer this goes on, that suspended New York license could then transfer to the state that you're in and suspend your new driver's license. The thing is, this could take a year, two years before it ever catches up with you. The problem then is trying to get it fixed to get everything solved is a much bigger issue than just sending in your license plates or getting things transferred the correct way. We've seen it over the years and it's very difficult to fix it uh, long term down the road, especially if you end up moving back to New York and trying to get a New York license again, that can cause a huge issue as well. So again, the best solution when you're moving out of state to get the new insurance set up and to cancel your old one is to make sure you're completely ready. Make sure you have copies of the titles of your vehicle and you're ready to switch everything over to the new state you're living in. Do that all at once, mail back your plates, and at most you'll probably only have a few day uh, where you have duplicate coverage while those plates are in the mail coming back. That is the best, most cleanest, and easiest way to avoid a problem for you, your driver's license, and your, and your wallet down the road. Lastly, if you think, well, my new agent or my new insurance company didn't tell me this in XYZ state, there's a reason for that. They probably don't know because this is a New York only thing. Uh, most other states do not follow the same guidelines. So please make sure that you communicate with your agent before you go find out the right process so that this makes it easier for you and avoids a major hassle down the road. We appreciate you watching. If there's anything more we can help answer or do for you, please let us know. We'd be glad to help.